Hey, this is Neil I with The Verge, and we're here with Apple's new iPod Touch, which, as you can see, is ridiculously thin. It's got this new kind of aluminum back. Here's my old iPhone 4S. You can see it's just really, really small compared to the 4S. Um, obviously, the big feature is uh, the new display. Uh, it's the new same size as the iPhone 5. It's taller. Uh, it shows more content in every optimized app, so I can just open mail. You see more mail messages if I go back. I can just open mail, you see more mail messages. Uh, if I open uh, the App Store, you see more apps in this screen. Uh, if you open a non-optimized app, I believe DJ is not optimized, you can see it just does the black bars, the top and bottom, just like the iPhone 5. Uh, inside, it's got an A5 processor, it plays games really well. It's basically an iPhone 4S uh, in a much smaller, tidier package um, without any uh, cellular connectivity. Uh, one really interesting feature is here on the back. It's called the iPod Touch Loop. It's just a little silver button. If you push it, it pops out, and then you can attach one of these little lanyards to it. Apple's also updated the cameras on the iPod Touch. This is a new 5 megapixel backside illuminated camera with a flash, and on the front there's a 720p front-facing camera uh, for video calls and FaceTime. Apple's new iPod Touch is available in October in a wide variety of colors, uh, $299 and $399 for 32 gigabytes and 64 gigabytes respectively.